I just got back from Lowe's, and what you're looking at is the lumber necessary to create our two-foot-high clear story, as well as the beams that the trusses will sit on. This COVID BS has really put a dent in our budget. The lumber you're looking at right here was $400. I mean, really, we were not uh, budgeting for a 30% increase in lumber prices. But it's too late to turn back now. We just got to make the best of it. Now that the box beams are complete, it's time to get our two foot clear story constructed and installed. The clear story will be sitting on the southern wall along the box beam and that will create our 112 pitch for the roof trusses that you can see stacked right out there. So it's gonna be constructed out of two by six material and then we're going to have a two foot overhang on both the eastern and western sides so that we'll have an overhang on all four sides of the building. And that overhang will be created by four by six beams. The first step is going to be putting up four by six on the northern wall and those will be laid flat onto the box beam and we'll have a two foot overhang on the east and west side. just secured my first 4x6 to the box beam. What I did was I left a two foot overhang, which will go to the final truss. And then extending out from the truss will be four inches plus the bevel you saw me create. I've got the second beam installed. And what I'm using are five inch ledger locks and these replace half inch lag screws. I am pre-drilling and using a countersink bit just to make sure that I get that head uh, well below the surface. I don't wanna have a truss running into the top of a timber lock. Anyway, so now I've got the two ends installed and now what I'm gonna do is just fill in the center. I've got the north side beams up all secured, and I'm very happy with uh, the progress that we were able to make today. We pick it up tomorrow. We'll start building the clear story out of four out of two by six material. We're going to get started this morning with the clear story, and we're going to want the total height of the clear story, including the two by sixes and the four by six, to be 24 inches. So the first thing that we're going to do is calculate how tall our studs need to be. So this is going to go on, this is three and a half, okay. and then we're going to have two layers, 
of these. We have one on the bottom and one on the top. Top plate, bottom plate, and then we're going to have a stud in the center. Oh, okay. That's going to be on top. This is the, the fat one's on top of this. Yeah, on top so of this. That'll be at the very top, the right? So our total height is six and a half inches. Total height of the four by six, the top plate and bottom plate made out of two by sixes is six and a half inches. So we want a total height of 24 minus six and a half is 17 and a half inches. So we put a stop block in so that we'll be assured a 17 and a half inch cut every time. And now we're just going to cut about 20 of them. Let's measure. Let's, now we just want to double check the measurement. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got the first three sections of the clear story constructed, and what we're going to do is we're going to install those so that we can determine what the exact length of the fourth section needs to be. This is the point in the video when I would normally show you the rest of the installation of the clear story, as well as that 4x6 beam that you see sitting on top of it behind me. Unfortunately, my phone experienced a high temperature reading, shut down, and I lost about an hour worth of video. Sorry about that. Nothing I can do about it, but let's get back to the installation.
Okay guys, the clear story is complete. The next step is going to be truss installation. If you have any questions about what's going on, please leave them in the comment box below. If you like this video, please click give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time we upload new content. We appreciate your support. We'll catch you in the next video.